Are we safe on using Godot engine? This is the question that we're going to ask ourselves today and we're going to try to answer, or at least I'm going to let you with more depth. Hello guys, Andrew from Your Hype Games here. Welcome to this new video. Around the internet lately have been all those videos about Godot engine that they're talking about Godot that, like it is a scam. And I don't get that, don't really get that. And I think that most of those videos are just clickbaity. My video is too, so welcome to the club, right? Now you know already that I'm a Godot guy, I use Godot, I'm trying hard to learn to make in dev with Godot engine, to use Gscript, and I'm kind of investing a lot of time. And this thing makes me a little bit sad, and why not mad, and scared as well, because if Godot engine fails, probably I'm not going to have, you know, an engine to work with, because it's the only thing I know to do, right? Use JDScript and use Godot engine. And like me, I think that there's a lot of other game devs out there that are working with Godot engines and trying to make their dream games, right? And that's the whole thing from my point of view. And obviously the question comes easily in your mind, are we saved on using it? Should we keep using it or should we move to something like Unity or Unreal or whatever other engine that are commercially available? And from the point of money, they are more stable because they are very, very big tech companies, right? Okay, guys, Andrew from the future here. Something that I wanted to point out and I didn't mention that actually was quite important for me because it kind of made me very, very angry with all these videos that were around the internet was the fact that Godot team kind of passed in these videos, figured out like they're not caring about their product, right? They're not caring about Godot Engine. Why I, you should know this. Godot Engine has been a love community project, right? Something that everyone has been loving and everyone put a lot of love in it. Got a team as well. And that's kind of the thing that I want to put in this part of the video. So, so guys, I don't get why people just don't appreciate this particular part of, of the thing, right? That the team that works on Godot loves this project. They really care about it. And from those videos that I watched, they this, this, this didn't appear, right? The, I didn't feel this from those videos, that's all mainly. Now you probably know this and hopefully you know this because everyone knows this. Your engine is an open source engine and it relies mainly from the point of money, it relies on people that donate money to the project like you and me or whatever big company there like, I don't know, Epic Games, I remember donating some money to your engine project as well. They're running out of money because yes, working on something, you need to pay people. So at a point, if you don't have money, you cannot work on this project. And they're asking for that. And some dudes, and especially one that had actually the godoforum.org, it was kind of an, an admin. It was really active and he helped a lot of people. He invested a lot of time in Godot Engine, creating a lot of stuff on Godot Engine as well. And this guy kind of went very mad with with Godot team, right? Because Godot team was asking for money and he was actually pointing out that where are the money that W4 Games had, right? Here's the, the key point and I, and I think that uh, Stay at Home Dev make it very clear, to, explains it very clearly in his video, right? W4 Games, it's not related to Godot. Even though it exists because Godot, it's not related. It's a company that has capitals. It is like a business. I, I don't really understand the legal things there, but the main difference is that Godot Engine relies on donations. They cannot sell products, while W4 Games, it's basically they can cancel their products. That That's all. And they're trying to create technology around Godot Engine to make Godot more competitive with other engines like Unity and Unreal. Yes, because at the moment, Godot Engine doesn't have a real technology, an official company that actually can port games to all these other consoles and platforms, right? Because all these other platforms are basically closed source, can we say it like that? Basically, you cannot ship the SDK 
with Godot Engine because because of the Godot Engine nature being open sourced. And that's all the thing. They they say in their side that they're going to support Godot, but they never mention it economically. <laughs> they're going to support it with technology. Already did something like for DirectX 12 or something like that. And that's all. That's all. I, I don't get why people get mad with this. Probably the main thing here was because part of the team of Godot Engine is part of this company. Okay, guys, let me know in the comment section what do you think about this? Are we saved? Should we be moving to a different engine? And should we put our, you know, our energies in learning something else? Because Godot Engine at the moment is having some big issues with this lack of money, right? Thank you very much for watching this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification to not lose any of my future videos that are going to come probably around October. <laughs> and more important, keep devin' games!